Next movie, and I went to see this movie, and this movie just like I w I've been expecting, I've been dying to see this since last year, ever since I first first saw the trailer. And it's called It's Inception, and I'm gonna say straight up, it is a good movie. It's one of the best ever. It's it's Christopher Nolan's best effort. It's it exceeds The Dark Knight and exceeds like. A, every single movie that came out this year it's it's that amazing and you know what's sad i don't think it's going to win a single oscar because it's sci-fi oh the best picture art oscar it's probably going to be some some very melodramatic movie about growing up in the ghettos or your life sucks kind of movies just those kinds of bullcrap like pretentious arty bullcrap that seems to dominate the academy awards now like movies like Crash and Precious and you know it always pisses me off when that happens because like they're all the same formula and yet they keep winning Oscar after Oscar it's yeah I, I mean there was an exception with Seven Pounds like Seven Pounds sucked and everyone knew who it was but some some movies of the same kind of like same kind of level it still passes and I don't I don't get it and movies like Inception will probably get snubbed. That's what I'm afraid about, because it is really good. And I would say this is an art house film, like an action art house film. And yet, at the same time, it isn't. What I mean by an art house film is like the basic plot line of this movie is like Leonardo DiCaprio plays this guy who, in, who works with the subconscious. Like he steals the secrets from their brain, but he gets like a new task but this one is different from the last ones where in the last task he's stealing stuff but in the next one this one he's gonna implant something so it'll become an idea of that person and uh, with hence the title inception so he assembles a team and they go inside the the target's brain and that's where it gets very surreal because in the subconscious you can pretty much do anything and that's what they're doing like there's a scene where joseph gordon levitt is like He's in a, in a hotel room, and in the world where he's sleeping, his head is like like shaking back and forth, and then in the hotel room, it kind of mimics that, where like the hotel room is like spinning around, you know? So in a way, it is like an art house film, because like, you kind of have to dig, like think deeper into this, because there's a lot of symbolism in this movie. Like, like the place where you go, where, the characters die. If they die in there, they go to limbo. You know, limbo if you ever actually read Dante's Inferno. Um, and since this place is like invented by their, their subconscious, every building in, the, in there is like a pre presentation of their brain. So like Leonardo DiCaprio's character is kind of emotionally disturbed. So there can be like a lot of stuff happening that just like that reflect that, like his, his wife yeah, um, keeps uh, p appearing to mess around and sometimes randomly a train uh, like a train randomly crashes through cars and yeah did I, I switch clothes anyways um wait what was I talking about before um inception okay it was about okay um in inception it's kind of like since they're this, this movie has a lot of symbolism, like, it's a, not your typical action-adventure movie, it's like, okay, to get, to give you sort of, like, an idea of what I mean, it's like, it's in their brain, they're creating, like, the entire place is just how, their emotions, or, like, how they think, their personality, like, I don't know, it's just a really, just a really, really symbolic movie. Another everything else, you know, it's, it's pretty good. Like the acting's pretty good, the action's pretty good, and it gets intense. It gets in really, really intense. But it's it's a good movie. This is a great movie. If you want me to nitpick, the ending, <laughs> the ending was really, just really pointless. Like, the, you know how everyone says like in the ending where it's they don't really know if he's still dreaming or not. That's bullcrap. It's just. If he's still dreaming, it just opens up so many questions that it just, it'll just piss you off more than needed.
I say he's not dreaming. Oh, and that, that's it.